Hello, and welcome to ARK, Fact, Fiction, and Meta, where we will take a look at the dinosaurs of ARK, Survival Evolved. While the game and its designs are nothing short of breathtaking, we will explore the real-life counterparts of the animals shown in this title and how they compare. I will also be going over a dinosaur's role in the game, if they're worth taming, what they do, and how applicable they are in the game currently. Keep in mind that certain aspects of this game can and will probably update in the future, and I will do my best to add any annotations if need be. Without further delay, let's get started. Allosaurus, Allo, Greek for different, and Saurus being lizard. Allosaurus fragilis were large carnivorous theropod dinosaurs that lived around 155 to 150 million years ago during the late Jurassic period and were one of the dominant apex predators at that time. Like most theropods, they walked on two legs and sported a thick tail that aided in their walking and movement. Extra thick! Discovered initially by Ferdinand Hayden in 1869, then given to Othniel Charles Marsh, who later coined the name Allosaurus in 1877. The name comes from the discovery of the vertebra pieces that were different than other species known at the time. Large groups of these fossils are found mainly in the Morrison Formation, which is centered around Wyoming and Colorado, with areas branching out to North and South Dakota, Nebraska, and Kansas. Fossils have also been discovered in other places such as Portugal, Siberia, and Tanzania. Their size averaged around 27 to 35 feet long, with a height averaging about 15 to 17 feet. Their diet consisted of meat that they would get from killing large prey such as Stegosaurus and other sauropods. They had a unique shaped skull, but when studied, the biomechanical tests suggest that its bite force was very weak. Scientists theorize Allosaurus may have used the upper part of its jaw in a downward motion, much like a hatchet, to inflict powerful blows and rip off pieces of flesh. A 2013 study showed that the head and neck movements were necessary for this kind of action. Another interesting feature of the Allosaurus was the horn-like protrusion on its brow. This was actually a projected piece of lacrimal bone that was most likely covered in keratin. Since lacrimal bone in of itself is not very strong, most scientists hypothesized that it was likely used for display or intimidation, and some suggested even acting as shade for the eyes. Did Allosaurus have feathers? Very possible. A 4mm piece of skin was taken off of a juvenile Allosaurus, approximately near the shoulder location, and was shown to be scaly. This doesn't necessarily just prove that Allos did not have any feathers at all. Just not in that particular area. Did Allosaurus hunt in packs? Without being able to go back in time, we can only speculate, although the general consensus was most likely no. There's very little evidence to suggest this high level of social behavior, especially in dinosaurs. Like most animals, they would have likely cannibalized young Allosaurus that got too close or became highly aggressive towards others in order to defend its kill and territory. Evidence to suggest these dinosaurs worked in packs is how wide their jaws opened and their stomach contents. Stefan Lautenschlager, I hope I'm saying that right, of the University of Bristol noted that Allosaurus had the largest jaw gape among the studied dinosaur species, which is consistent with the requirement for a predator hunting larger prey. Allosaurus bite marks have also been found on the back plates of stegos and the bones of other large herbivores. Most scientists would then hypothesize that Allos were either skilled hunters or opportunistic scavengers. The Allosaurus and Ark survival evolved are very large carnivores that are highly aggressive and will attack the player on site. Allos are fairly quick and often travel in groups of three to four. This ensures that they can take down any prey that comes across them, although they will not engage with the largest of herbivores, strangely enough. However, their AI can make them tackle mobs, which can lead to their demise. The one that glows a reddish orange and yellow color is the designated alpha leader of the group. They deal more damage and take roughly 25% less damage. The leader can also inflict a crippling status called Nashed, which the target will lose 5% of their max health over a 5 second duration. The Nash effect can also slow you down significantly, making escape impossible. Out of the three main arc maps, they're only found on the island. 
ranging anywhere from the redwoods to mountainous regions and other dotted areas near swamps. They are a fairly uncommon spawn, so it will make it that much more difficult to find a high level Allosaurus to tame. Because they travel in groups, it's fairly difficult to isolate one out if you plan on taming them. If you build a large enough pen to lure them in, you can casually pick off the weaker members until the high level alpha is left. Once you knock it out with Trank Arrows, its favorite food to be tamed on is Diplodocus Kibble followed by Raw Mutton and Raw Prime Meat. Once tamed, you will need the Allosaurus Saddle, which can be unlocked at level 67, and it requires 320 hide, 170 fiber, and 30 metal ingots to craft. Once you have made it, place it on the dinosaur, and you have yourself a decent mount. However, its true strength comes from having other aloes among its rank. Bring in at least two more, and the aloe with the highest level will be granted the alpha buff. Right click will cause your head to rear back and slam down, causing the Nash effect to be inflicted on whatever dinosaur is in front of you, and is noted by the rather comical amount of blood spray and slow movement. And this is very useful when you don't want something to run away. Pressing C will have your Allosaurus do a rally call, and the others in your group will respond in kind. Currently, that's only used for aesthetic purposes and serves no other function. So how does Allosaurus fare in PvE and PvP? Surprisingly well in both, actually. Although you can have better, Allos are a solid choice for both hunting and small raids due to their buff as a pack. Although they don't have as much HP like the T-Rex, they're quick and can chase down your opponents, and if they get gnashed, you can almost guarantee a kill. Their utility is useful as meat gatherers and potentially boss encounters, although you shouldn't make a dedicated force due to their low HP. They can be useful as base defenders, but there are other dinosaurs better suited to that role. Does the Allosaurus deserve a TLC update? I would personally argue no from a mechanical point of view. Although the visuals of their skin make them appear somewhat cartoony, I personally think it's the brows they have. Giving them more HP would probably be overkill given their already decent power and speed and they already serve very well in the pack category of ARC dinosaurs. So, how well does this translate over to ARC's version of the Allosaurus? The dossier of Allosaurus calls it Allosaurus Theratribus, meaning different lizard and tribe beast, obviously a tribute to its supposed pack mentality. The size of Allosaurus in ARC has me a bit concerned as it looks much larger than its real life counterpart. I would almost argue that its size mimics that of Saurophaganax, another large theropod from the Allosaurid genus. Last point I want to make is the Nash attack. As stated before, it is hypothesized that Allos will move their head downwards in a hatchet-like motion to swing their upper jaw downwards onto prey. In Ark, you can see the Allos doing very much the same thing to inflict the crippling status attack on its prey. A subtle nod to the biomechanical function. Oh, and before I forget, the bony protrusions above the eyes don't serve any in-game purpose. Aside from the size difference and possible feathers, Ark does a pretty good job portraying the Allosaurus as a fierce and deadly dinosaur that one can encounter during their travels on the island. Well, that's all for today. If you have any suggestions on what dinosaurs I should cover next, please leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Video on mode, tuning out.